Hello and welcome to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. I'm Jason, a part-time gold prospector based in Wisconsin, and we do find our share of flower gold and on occasion, the occasional picker, meaning a small piece of gold that you can actually pick up. They're pretty rare, but we do find them. One of the big reasons I go out doing what I do is because I'm having a blast. And for the last year and a half or so, I've been running a little thing I called the CAN, K-A-N. It was a 7,000 subscriber giveaway can, and people from all over the world donated gold and other goodies to go along with the can, and the gold that I added to the can to give away to a random commenter when I hit 7,000 subscribers. Well, we gave it away to Nine Fingers Mining, and Creed, I hope you enjoy it a lot. So with that being said, I've got a ton of people asking me to do the can again, and I thought long and hard about it, and I... Why not? I mean, I had so much fun doing it last time, uh, making so many friends, people mailing me stuff, and I mail stuff back out to, you know, whoever. It's, it's just been a blast. So we're going to do it again. Uh, I'm going to set a goal of 15000 this time. I do think it's attainable. I'm, it may take 20 years. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to give her a shot. Uh, so to kick that off, I've got some great mail we're going to get through today. So welcome back to another episode of In the Can. Back in a bit. P.S. If you think I'm going to start up another can without wearing my official in the can shirt, well, you're crazy. Now let's get started, shall we? All right, let's get this party started. Now, a while back, I got a bag from a guy that runs a little thing called Ron for the Hills Mining. Now, he sells mining and prospecting equipment, and he went ahead and sent me a package and some really cool pins. Look at that stuff. A bunch of swag and some 3D stickers that'll blind you if you stare at them the wrong way. Very cool. And he sent me a big bag of stuff here. And a letter. Let's give it a read. Hey Jason, hope this makes it in time for the can giveaway. It's K-A-N, by the way. <laughs> Enjoy the sticker swag and the included garnet for panning. Thanks for all you do. Ron for the hills. Well, I do appreciate you sending out that bag. And you're first in line for the new can. Awesome. So let's break this baby open and see what he sent. Back in a bit. All right, now I'm not really sure what to expect here because that letter made no mentions of the word gold. It did, however, say garnet. So we're gonna see, There, maybe there's a, I don't know, 10 karat garnet in here all polished up. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna classify this stuff down with my kitchen strainer type utensil here. We're gonna go for bigs and littles again. All right, I think we've got that shaking out as about as good as it's going to get. Now I'll throw that in a little container, and we'll do it again. Should be able to get the, get the rest of it out of this one here, or close to it. Yeah, maybe not. One more, I think. And we'll have her. And there is a good, good amount of uh, material bigger than this strainer in there. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be looking for, but... I hope something stands out at me. Get that in there, and we'll throw this last little bit in there. There we are. Get out of here. All right, let's give her a good shake. All right, we'll put that off to the side just for now. All the bigs. And I gotta add a little bit of surfactant in here, but I'm gonna quickly just kinda get this stuff down to a little bit less material than's in there now, just so I can see how much black sand I'm dealing with here. It's always nice to know, I would imagine. And there's quite a bit of blonde sands in there and them babies, that stuff there just washes right out really quickly. So thank you for that. <laughs> All right, and I am seeing some black sand starting to form and garnet, it's really red looking. I imagine once I get this down just a little bit more, that sand is going to be quite red. 
I've gotten some of that from out uh, out west before. That was quite the quite the bag of stuff. I mean, it was almost solid garnet sand and just redder than red. And it was actually kind of hard to pan. A little bit harder than I thought it might be. All right, there, well, there's not as much really heavy material in there as I expected here. Let's see what's going on. Let me roll some of this back. Oh yeah, look how red that is. Just absolutely red, red, red. There is a ton of garnet sand in there. So let me throw all this in my black pan so I can see the gold if there is any. And we'll take a look at it. Back in a bit. All right, I panned that stuff down just a little bit further so I didn't have so much in this pan because the bottom of this pan is so much smaller than that big super sluice I was using. Uh, you, you can only work so much material. So I panned it down just a little bit and I am noticing a few larger pieces of uh, of garnet in there and I'm starting to see some gold show up on the on this bottom corner right here. So that's, uh, that's encouraging because I love gold. Love it. <laughs> hey, maybe as much as PBR. <laughs> Let's not get carried away now. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch starting to show up there now. And um, I'm just using my standard uh, black sand panning method here. I just back and forth, back and forth. See a little chunk of gold like that one there trying to jump, slide its way down on top of that sand. Well, push it back up. Settle it to the bottom so it touches the pan, and then it'll stay put a little bit easier. See, like some of these are just touching that pan. Those aren't moving at all. And I'll grab a little bit more of that, and I'll pull some of this black sand back on the way down, or garnet sand, I should say, and give it another settle. Piece of cake. Now, it wouldn't quite be as easy if this was uh, powder-fine talcum gold that we get around here. These are some nice chunky looking pieces in here for sure. There are a couple of smaller ones, but not. there's no beach gold in here. Let's put it that way. All right, we're just about done there. That stuff is uh, actually coming down a little bit easier than I expected it would. And there is some of that. I never really knew what the heck that stuff was. If you look right up top there, it's always the last to pan down. It's like, um, boy, I don't know. Uh, like a light colored gray gray sand, almost a white sand, but it's it's really heavy and it always it's always the last stuff to pan down from certain locations. I don't get much of that around here, but uh, some people that have mailed me some stuff in the past uh, had that stuff in there for sure. All right, so we just about got that down. I just got a little bit of company and Moose and Rigby showed up. So let me get this stuff in a little bit of clean water and we'll take a look at it under the macro lens. Blah. All right, let's check the bigs. I got all that other gold over on the furnace drying out. Let's take a little look here. I thought I caught a little glimpse of uh, possibly some pyrites in there. I would imagine most of those are gonna wash right on out of here because that, that's pretty light stuff, or at least in my experience it has been. And this shouldn't take too long at all. This stuff here is, it's uh, rather light and that water pushes it right on out. And we'll get that down to as close as I feel comfortable. And you can, you can uh, finish off with quite a bit more material in a pan like this, just because of the size of the bottom. Uh, there's just way more area like this here. I would never try to pull that back in that black pan. But this one here, it's a different story. Oh, I'm excited. I see a nice chunk of gold right there that did not go through the kitchen strainer. A couple of them. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of them showing up. Tell you what, let me give this a little tap. Get them all the way up to the corner. And we'll pull his back some here. Ooh, that's exciting. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of gold in there. <laughs> I'm going to have to add these over to that... Uh, over to that pan on my furnace. Holy cow, look at that. Talk about easy to pan too. Oh man, oh man, alive. That's exciting stuff right there. And I can feel all of them right there. Is that nice? All right, let me get these out of here. And we'll take a look at it. Back in a bit. 
All right, we've got the gold all nice and dried up. Look at that. There's some really chunky looking stuff in there. Some smaller bits, fantastic. Let's go ahead and weigh that up. Let me turn my scale on, get the light off so you guys can read the numbers better. And we'll get her teared out. All right, let's see what's in there. Come on, I'm gonna guess, boy, I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna guess point, point four. Let's take a look. Well, that was off. 0 0.41. <laughs> 0 0.44. It keeps moving. However, this does give an opportunity for me to show off the new can. 15,000 subscriber giveaway can. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dump that right in there. Just like this. And so it's begun. And if you think that I'm going to let you guys do all the heavy lifting... Well, you're crazy. I happen to have a little bit of gold here myself, and I did add plenty of gold to that last can we gave away. I don't even know what's in here. Let's go ahead and measure that. That's a bunch of gold I got from uh, Nugget Lake. Let's dump that on there one time. 0 0.85, 0 0.87 grams. There's some really nice looking stuff in there too. Well, that's going in the can. It's begun. Back in a bit. All right, I'd like to give a special thank you to Ron from RonForTheHillsMining.com. Go check him out. Thank you, sir. Moving on. I got another package here for the can. It came all the way from Australia from a really good friend of mine named Crouch. Now, he runs a YouTube channel called The Surfing Prospector. Go definitely go check him out. He's making his rounds all the way around Australia. And he's got an awesome metal detector, and he's got a lot of awesome friends, and he makes some really, really great videos. And he sent this to me, and I just got it. Let's go ahead and give it a read. Good day, mate. Hello, Jason and family. Here is an Australian flag right here. I already have it on the wall, buddy, and I thank you very much. <laughs> That's great. From our from a Davy boat. Don't ask how I got it, lol. <laughs> also, two nuggets from... Western Australia, dug by himself. Um, the bigger for you, mate, the smaller for the can, man. And a sticker from his mate at Finders Keepers right here. Check that out. They make some pretty cool stuff over there. Must be a dingo or something, I'm guessing. <laughs> what else do we got here? Finders Keepers in the fridge and two old timers buttons, one for the can and for you, a glass stopper, 1800s. All right, let's check it out. Keep up the great shows. Crouch, say hi to Moose Rigby, the surfing prospector. All right, he gave me one of these here refrigerator magnets. Let me get that out of the way. And he sent me this here bag. Let's dump it out. Now, he's been doing some uh, gold prospecting and relic hunting. And uh, here's some of the stuff that he found. Now, these are old glass stoppers from, jeez, I don't know, a, a billion years ago. <laughs> and uh, I know there's still a little bit of Australian dirt on there. That stuff comes right off, but I'll keep that. And he sent these really cool buttons that he's been finding. He's got a really nice, uh, really nice setup in his van, too. He just goes all over the place and lives out of that darn van. Yeah, it looks like a little marble or something. I guess those old miners had to stay busy too. And here's the here's the big hauler right here. Look at these big gold nuggets he sent. Just look at that. Now he told me to keep the big one. So I'm going to put that right off to the side here. Right here, I'll put it. And then here's the one he wanted me to add to the can. That's a nugget. A nice nugget all day by itself. Holy cow. And I probably watched him get this one. Fantastic. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn our scale on right here. It's on. Get that light off. It's teared. We'll weigh that baby. 0.74 grams. That's uh, three quarters of a gram nugget right there, buddy. Thank you very much. Look at that. Well, guess where it's going? In the can. <laughs> That's right. Which, by the way, I also use to make moonshine or store it. Know what I mean?
<laughs> All right, let's weigh that big one. Bam, 1.13 grams. That is really fantastic, Crouch. And moving on, I want to briefly go over my Patreon prizes for the month of November. It's coming quick, and I usually uh, draw right around the 15th, so you typically have from the 1st uh, right up until, I don't know, the 10th or so to get in on it. And then we draw, and we have our first place, our second place, third, and fourth. $20 members get four entries in the drawing, $12 members get three, $6 members get two, and $3 members get one. But you all have a great chance at winning any number of these prizes. And it consists of four uh, different types of uh, pay dirt, including the Black Poison E. <laughs> Everybody gets some awesome channel stickers. I hope you guys enjoy the prizes. And uh, like every month, I always do a lottery. Uh, we got the four places plus a lottery at the end. Everybody gets an equal chance at. And this month, I've got a package here. I won from Benzo Bonanza mining uh benzo gold and um he had a little can going for a 500 giveaway and i won it so i'm giving up this awesome cleanup sluice uh, that came from spike strike uh prospecting supplies this uh it's a bucket uh concentrator is what it is i uh, this it kind of attaches to a five gallon pail with this little device here comes with a little hose and it's supposed to work fantastic but everybody here knows where is that darn thing? I'm a VDR guy. There's my little cleanup sluice right there, drying up on the furnace. So I'm gonna go ahead and give up this thing here, and I hope somebody really enjoys that. And I'm not just gonna give you a, a sluice without having some material to go through it. I also won a bag of pay dirt from JP Lawns and more. Look at that. And I know Benzo added some gold to it, and I thank you very much, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that right along to one of my patron members so when you get this you're gonna get that fantastic back in a bit and that's gonna conclude today's episode of 15,000 subscriber in the can we had a lot of fun with it last time we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one too we already got a great start thank you to Crouch from surfing prospector channel out in Australia right on buddy and thank you to Ron from ronforthehillsmining.com so until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. Check out my Patreon page if you want to get involved with those great prizes. Flower Gold Wizards, oh.